Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the almond afghan square, which you can see here in front of you. And this is week two, option one of the Make It Your Way crochet along. If you are joining me for that event, welcome. Now today our square is worked in rows and I'm working it in a worsted weight yarn. This is Vanna's Choice by Lion Brand. It's a 100% acrylic medium weight yarn and today I'll be working in the color linen. For this afghan square you will need approximately 108 yards of yarn for this square. And if you're working it as part of the Make It Your Way crochet along you will need to make four of these squares. You're also going to need a six millimeter crochet hook or a J10 hook and a copy of the free written pattern which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, also don't forget to receive notifications for my channel uh, as I will be publishing the other Afghan squares for this crochet along in the coming weeks. This channel is updated every single week with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. Our square today is worked in rows so we're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. Our foundation chain today is going to be a total of 37 chains if you're working it to the same size I am using this yarn uh, my square is measuring approximately 10 and a half by 10 and a half inches um, to 11, somewhere in between. Um, and uh, so for that, using this yarn, you'll chain 37. If you need to change the size of your square, you're going to need a multiple of 8 stitches plus 5 for your foundation chain. Once you have your 37 chains worked, you're going to start row 1 by working a slip stitch into the second chain from your hook. You're then going to slip stitch in each of the next 3 chains. Next, half double crochet in each of the next four chains. Next, slip stitch in each of the next four chains. You are going to repeat that all the way across. Half double crochet in each of the next four chains, followed by a slip stitch in each of the next four chains. When you come all the way across, chain one and turn your work. Once you come all the way across at the end of row one, chain one and turn your work. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. For row two, we're going to work a slip stitch in the back loop only of each of the first four stitches. So looking at the top of our stitch, we have two loops here across the top. The back loop only is a loop that is furthest away from you. So you're going to insert your hook under that stitch only and work a slip stitch in each of the first four stitches. Next, continuing to work in your back loop only, work a half double crochet in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. Next, 
next slip stitch in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. You're now going to repeat that all the way across starting with a half double crochet worked in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches followed by a slip stitch worked in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of row two, chain one and turn your work. For row three, you're going to begin by working, continuing to work in your back loop only. This time we're going to start by working a half double crochet into that first stitch in the back loop only and each of the next three stitches. So you'll have a total of four half double crochet stitches. Next, you're going to work one slip stitch, working in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. Next, work one half double crochet, working in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across, beginning with a slip stitch in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches, followed by a half double crochet worked in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of row three, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're now going to repeat row three and for row four, working in the back loop only all the way across, half double crochet in each of your first four stitches. Followed by a slip stitch in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. Half double crochet in each of the next four stitches working in the back loop only, followed by your slip stitch. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of row four, chain one and turn your work. For row five, we're going to begin by continuing to work in the back loop only all the way across. You're going to slip stitch in each of the first four stitches. And then half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. slip stitch in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across half double crochet in each of the next four stitches working in the back loop only followed by a slip stitch in each of the next four stitches of the back loop only all the way across. At the end of row five, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now for the rest of your square, for rows six through to 32, you're going to repeat your rows two to five. You're going to end your repeats with row 32, and that's going to end on a repeat of row four. So go ahead for rows six through to 32, repeat 
rows two to five, ending on a row four, and then meet me back here. Once you've worked through to the end of row 32 in your Afghan square, you'll have a square that looks like this one worked in the almond stitch. You're then going to work a simple edging around the outside of your square. You're going to start by joining your yarn with a slip knot into the top corner. You're then going to chain one. For my edging for the squares to make sure that all of my squares fit very easily together, I've worked 34 stitches along each side with one stitch in the corner. So for this square, because I have a total of 36 stitches across the top, it means at some point I'm going to have to skip a stitch somewhere just to make sure that I have uh, the same number of stitches all the way across. So I'm going to start by working, I guess, into the second stitch here, and I'm going to work 34 single crochet stitches evenly all the way across the top of my square. Once you come all the way across the top of your square, square working single crochet stitches, you'll have 34 stitches evenly worked. You're going to work one more single crochet into the corner. And then along this rough edge, once again, work 34 single crochet stitches evenly across. You can change the number of stitches that you're working along these edges. Just make note of it so that your other Afghan squares uh, will match the number of stitches uh, on each side, just to make it easier when you are joining them. So work 34 single crochet stitches across, one in the corner, 34 stitches across the bottom, one in the corner, and then up the side where we will end with one more in the corner before we join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Once you come all the way around, having worked single crochet stitches, you'll work your final single crochet stitch into your corner and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You can then go ahead and fasten off, weave in your ends and block your square if desired. Again, if you're making the Make It Your Way blanket, you're going to make uh, three more of these, so you'll have a total of four squares. So thank you so much for joining me. That's all there is to work in the Almond Afghan Square. And uh, until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.